Before we get started, it's absolutely crucial to make sure we have some packs installed that contain some of the Macs for Live devices we'll be exploring. So we can do this in one of two ways. First of all, you can go to ableton.com and once you're logged in to your account, just click on the packs section here. And once you're looking at the packs, click on the Macs for Live. And now we're looking at all the Macs for Live packs. And the ones that are included with your license will simply say download. And ones that you don't have a license for, they will say buy now. So the two that it's absolutely crucial to download for this course are Creative Extensions. So I'll just click the download button there. And Convolution Reverb. And while those are downloading, we can explore some of the other packs that are available on the website. Now, the other way to install packs as of Live 10 is to click on the packs section in the places segment of your browser. And now you can scroll through, and at the bottom, you'll get a list of available packs packs that you have a license for that you have not downloaded for one reason or another. So if you have not installed Creative Extensions or Convolution Reverb, they should show up in your available packs. And you can also update directly from Live's browser. So just click the download or update button as necessary. For example, I will update Connection Kit directly. It also bears mentioning that throughout this course, I will be grabbing my Max devices from the Max for Live category. But if they're not showing up for you in the browser through that path, you can always access them by clicking Packs and then going to the Convolution Reverb Pack if that's what we're looking at. Or, for example, Creative Extensions is where you're going to find the bass and poly instruments we're looking at. So you can disregard my category. Uh, locations if they're not working for you and you can always resort to the packs section of the browser. So once your packs are installed to the desktop, if you've downloaded them from the website, you can always just double click to install or drag it to the live icon. So with both Creative Extensions and Convolution Reverb installed, let's get started, shall we?